Hey guys, this video is going to be a little bit different and it's not going to be for everybody. Not too long ago I told one of my physicians about my YouTube channel and uh, a while back I had a video about my trach and how to change it out. I don't know what happened to that video. I accidentally deleted it, I guess, I don't know, but um, I had a request to do another one and uh, so for people who have a trach and it's new to them and they don't feel comfortable with it and everything so yeah so this video is for people who have a trach who are new to it and who might be freaking out a little bit and might be scared and worried and who just don't know a lot about a trach and I'll be honest with you, I was that person, when I first got this trach, I was scared to death to let anybody near it. The strap that goes around the neck that holds it on, every time a nurse would go just to change that strap, I would get all tense. I mean, my muscles would tighten up and I would be like freaking out. But it doesn't have to be that way. And, and a great doctor that I went to back... Uh, well, quite a while ago and uh, at South Carolina Ear, Nose and Throat, Dr. Riviera uh, taught me how to change the trach and do everything myself so that I don't have to rely on other people doing it and so that I don't have to freak out when other people are around my neck pulling and pushing and doing all kind of stuff. So, so this video, like I say, is not going to be for my typical urban outdoor audience. This is going to be for people interested in changing out the trach and uh, I'm going to go through it step by step and uh, just show you how I do it. Uh, the first thing you want to do is get some things prepared in advance. We're going to be changing this trach so you want to get your new trach cleaned and prepared. You want to make sure that it's sanitary. So I've gone ahead and got my new the new trach that we're going to put in and I went ahead and put the neck straps on it. I have found that it's easier to have the straps on then put the trach in as opposed to putting the trach in and then trying to do the straps. So that's just a little shortcut. You also need to have one of these little things and I don't know what they're called but this goes in the trach and the end of it pokes out. If you see there, I don't know, I hope the, the camera is focusing good. That gives you a rounded, smooth edge here as opposed to without it, which would be kind of straight and more coarse. So, now I have the trach, I have this, and I also have a new inner cannula. The inner cannula is the part that when the trach is in, the inner cannula goes inside of the trach and locks like that. So, first part is get everything ready. Have all your stuff cleaned and prepared. Make sure everything's sanitary. And uh, now let's get to it. The actual changing it off. I found that it's easy -est to go ahead and remove the strap. Now those straps are cheap and they're just I don't know what they're made out of. They got Velcro on them and they latch on. I always change them because they get sweaty and stuff like that. So every time I change my trach I change the strap as well. Now I am only holding this in by my hands. What I'm gonna have to do next is take off my speaking valve. And I'll talk a little bit more about the speaking valve in just a moment. It just pulls off and it looks like this. And uh, I have to have my finger over the hole now in order for me to talk. If I take my finger off, I won't, I won't be able to talk very well. So, covering that up enables me to talk. And that's basically what this speaking valve, whoops, what this speaking valve does. It allows me to speak. I used to have 
what is called a passamere valve and it works just like this new one and what the passamere valve do and this protac pro track dual care system do they allow air in but not out so when I had the passamere valve on I could breathe in but air wouldn't go out so it's like having my hand over the plug so I can speak but it's not quite as easy to breathe with the passamere valve on so I would often have to while talking occasionally if I've got the passamere valve on like this I can talk but it is harder to breathe so sometimes while I was talking a lot I would have to take the passamere valve off so that I could talk. Now this ProTrack dual system is even better. Let me put the passamere in. This actually goes on and it rotates. You see like that? You got two modes. You can have it on speaking mode and then you just turn it and it goes to regular breathing mode. So it's the best of both. Anyway, so now that I have the strap off, it's time to take out the trach and put in the new one. I won't be able to talk when I do that, so bear with me, and I'm going to cough. There's no way to do this without coughing, and if you can do it without coughing, you're a better man or woman than I am for sure, but I cough every time, and anyway, so here we go. So after I get this trach out, I won't be able to speak, so just watch the steps remove it <laughs> I almost made it without coughing. Anyway. New trach in. New straps on. Now, you need to put in an inner cannula. And that's simple. Just put it in. Turn it to lock. And you're done. Then you can put your speaking valve back on. This one has a little string, a little hook you can put on there. That way if you do have to take this off, or it, it hangs right there on your trach. So anyway, it doesn't have to be scary. I know, believe me, I know what it feels like when you first get a trach. And you're so scared that it's going to pop out. And oh my gosh, what do I do if it pops out? I won't be able to breathe or I won't, you know. Well, you don't have to be scared about it. It is a scary thing, but you can do this yourself. It is something that you can do. You see, I can do it now without even looking. And the more you do it, the better you get at it and the less stressful it is. So, that's it. Easy trait change. Do it as needed. There's no set you know, you'll, you'll, you'll get the hang of when to do it. You'll know when it's time. Anyway, that's all I got for you today, guys. I hope that this video has been helpful for you. Don't, you don't have to freak out about having a trach. Um, I know it's not the same life you used to have, and it is involved, but it doesn't take that long, and it doesn't have to be scary. Till next time, keep calm, carry on, and keep it outdoors.